All right, this is a review problem. You pick a deck from a card. Um, I'm sorry, you pick a card from a deck, and you want to find the expected amount that you would win. So, of course, when you see that, you need to come up with a random variable. And so you can see what's changing through this problem is that the um, amount that you might win is the random variable. So we're going to make a table, and we want to be able to um, use the table to make some predictions. So let's go ahead and make a table. Here we go. Here we go. So what is our random variable? Our random variable is the amount of money you win. So we want to go ahead and write that right in here. So let me switch to the pen. So we're going to write, oops, switch to the pen. Okay. You could either win 100. You could win 20. Or you could win 0. So those are our options for winnings. Now, uh, we want to assign a probability to each of those. So I'm going to call this P, and that will stand for probability. So the probability you win 100 is whenever you get an ace. Well, we know there's 4 out of 52, and if I wanted to reduce that, just because I'm going to have to use that later, that would be 1 out of 13, I believe. Okay, $20. Well, for that to happen, you would have had to lose the first round. So that would be 48 out of 52, or about 12 out of 13. So you have to lose the first round for you to even get to this level. You don't get to play for the 20 if you win the first round. Okay, now, what's the probability that you actually win? So this is the probability that you lose the first round. Now you get to go on to the second round. Well, you go to the second round if you pick a black card. So a probability of black card is about 13, I'm sorry, um, 26 out of 52, which is about one half. So I'm going to write that as one half. Now your last um, column over here is going to be the zero outcome. Now you might think, well, I'm finding expected value, so I'm going to multiply this times this, so why does it really matter? Well, these should add up to one when you're done, so you might want to check um, that when you're done. Well, this is still 12 out of 13. Same probability as over here because I lost the first round. Now, what's the probability that I lose the second round? Well, since this, the probability I win is one half, the probability that I lose is going to be one half as well. And so if I check this out, this is 6 thirteenths, 6 thirteenths, and 1 thirteenth. They do end up equaling 1 over here. That's not my answer. That's just a check. All right. Now from here. We want to find the expected value, the amount I'm expected to win. Well, the expected value comes from a sum of probability times the expected winnings. So P times the amount you're expected to win the first round is 1 out of 13th times 100. Now here, again, if you multiply this, I'm going to leave it as a 12 times 1, 13 times 2, so that's 12 out of 26. You could reduce it more if you want. Just be careful with your fractions if you're not really good with them. 12 out of 26, or you might have had a bigger number if you didn't reduce them um, previously. But they should be all equivalent to 12 out of 26. Let's go ahead and put a 20 here. That's coming from right here. And then the last probability should be the same. 12 times 1 is 12. 13 times 2 is 26. And that's times 0. So you know this goes pretty much away. And I use my calculator, and you can check my work, but I believe you get $16.92 as your expected winnings playing this game. All right, so that is an expected value problem. Should be relatively quick. Um, it is a multiple choice type question on your test.